Hello everyone and welcome to Skill Capped. I'm Notorious Dub and today I'm going to be going over one of the biggest meta changes we've seen in Valorant in a long time, and the first big meta shift we've seen in the most important round of the game period, Pistol Round. Now personally I am a huge fan of these changes because it gives more options on how to go about the pistol round, but it also forces defenders and attackers to put more thought into the angles that they hold and the fights that they end up taking. And in this video we're going to be covering the classic changes that were the catalyst for this meta shift and how you can actually make the classic still viable, how people are using the frenzy and what makes it so good, and the agents that have had the biggest playstyle changes because of the new meta shift and the completely new way that we're playing bind and split on pistol round because of this new change. But before we get into the meat of the video, what do you think about all of the meta changes that we're seeing in Valorant right now? Personally, I love the changes, because in this game we have 5 maps and a limited agent pool, so the game starts to feel very similar, but with Viper coming into the meta on Icebox and Bind, the Stinger getting some light, and the Frenzy showing up, and even the new Force Buys that we're seeing now, the game starts to feel a little bit new again. But I do know a ton of people aren't huge fans of the changes, so I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about all of the changes in the comments down below, and let's get into these pistol changes. Now first of all we have to understand what happened to the most used weapon on the pistol round, the classic. Jumping accuracy is now less than half as accurate, making those unpredictable classic jump peaks far less effective at only 40% the accuracy that it had before. This inherently nerfs the jet classic as well as just a huge nerf to one of the best strategies with the classic in general. But the biggest change that we saw to the classic is the decrease in accuracy over the right click spam for the classic. This was the go to firing technique you just spam that right click but the first burst fire is now the exact same as it was before and the second is now 75% as accurate as the first which where before it would be exactly the same and now the third and fourth consecutive shot is 31 percent as accurate as the first making it worse than the jumping accuracy and now it's almost never worth consecutively spamming the classic especially when you get to that third or fourth burst and that's why the frenzy is starting to take over because the classic just really isn't getting the job done but before we get into the frenzy we do have a special strategy that's just starting to gain popularity that makes the classic still playable and still usable now instead of the classic spamming right click until you fire all 12 bullets you're instead going to left click and then right click then you're going to left click again and then right click again until you fire all 12 bullets in your clip this way you're getting off just as many bullets in the same period of time but your bullets are way more accurate and it's actually more shots on target than the previous classic before the nerf because you're getting off those accurate left clicks in between your shots while you're letting your burst fire in accuracy reset. But as I said before people are learning to use these weapons that are arguably better than the strats we were using in the first place so even with this new strategy coming out the frenzy is still going to be popular. But remember if you're serious about improving go to skillcapped.com to unlock our hyper improvement system that will teach you how to win more gunfights, master your agent, and so much more. It's also backed by our rank improvement guarantee so you have nothing to lose. So come join over half a million satisfied members of Skillcapped, improve that KDA, and get the rank you've always wanted at skillcapped.com. Link is in the description below. Now let's get into the new bread and butter of the pistol round that I'm extremely excited for honestly, the frenzy. Now the reason the frenzy is so powerful is because it pumps out bullets so fast that you're going to be aim punching your enemies and nearly guaranteeing kills, and even if you're not hitting those headshots, you'll be pumping out enough damage per second to kill anyone within about 20 meters range of you before they can even think about what happens to them. And how many bullets it pumps out is honestly such an underrated factor because that makes trade kills so much easier. Now on attacker side, normally you're going to get onto side with a ghost and only need to hit one or maybe even two shots to get the trade kill off for your entry fragger but a lot of times you're only able to get two or three shots off and maybe you miss those shots before you die and you're unable to actually pick up the kill with the frenzy though you're able to get off six or seven shots in that same time frame and far too often that's the difference between winning and losing a round by itself and with the bullet output you're almost guaranteed to at least get a couple of attacks so you're not going to be useless and as the entry fryer looking to make the first engagement, you're almost guaranteeing that you're going to be slowing down the enemy with your bullets to make those trade kills that much easier. On the other hand, you would have the ghost, where you're going for that one hit headshot kill, making your second man far less useful because you are either going to get the kill or you're not going to touch them and they can still run away. But on defender side, that frenzy allows you to play these really close corners and hallways like inside of hookah and put out an insane amount of pressure and damage per second on the attackers that are trying to come in. Where normally, if you have a ghost inside of hookah, you're basically asking to be useless and throw the round unless you manage to hit that one shot headshot. 
Now if you have a frenzy, the first kill is almost guaranteed if you're not letting them flash you out, and often, especially on pistol round when the enemies don't have armor, you'll have enough bullets in that same magazine to pick up the second kill behind that first person as well. But there is one more big change that this frenzy meta comes with, which is where you need to be playing if you're not running the frenzy. Now the frenzy just really isn't going to replace the ghost, and a well-placed ghost user can carry a round against the frenzy rush almost by itself. Now normally no one would dream about playing heaven on bind during a pistol round, but a ghost playing in heaven is insanely safe against the long range and accuracy of the frenzy, and it has the long range accuracy to pick up the kills by itself on the people that are managing to rush in and come into the site. This goes for all of those angles where you have long range engagements or you just have a window to peek out of like heaven on a site on haven. But not to mention, it also makes those close angles that you were once able to hold with the ghost essentially a death wish. So this new frenzy meta is making pistol round more than just a thoughtless round where you rush a site or hold wherever you want to and whoever wins wins. Now it takes a bit of thought. But another extremely interesting thing that's happening with the pistol meta is exactly how it's affecting the individual agent's buys on pistol round. Like Jet, she has one of those interesting buys in the game right now because before you would be running armor and your classic maybe getting a couple abilities or even saving for the rest for an operator on round 3. But now the classic is heavily nerfed and the operator is difficult to save for so we've been seeing a ton of Jets going armor and frenzy giving Jet one of the best entry fragging potentials in the entire game. This is because she takes way longer to kill than you would expect, especially if she gets to an awkward spot for the defenders to kill her with, with her dash. And as soon as she dashes in and pulls that frenzy out, she starts pumping out damage from the middle of sight and causing enough chaos to get your team onto sight as well. And we've also seen other agents trying to make this armor frenzy strat work, but the jet mobility is honestly just way too important for getting in their face with the frenzy. And then we have the brimstone strat. This is one of those cheese strats that I'm sure a ton of people hate that is in the meta. But the buy is pretty standard. You're just opting for your frenzy over your ghost or your armor that you would normally be running. But the stim beacon is the biggest meta shift here. Now brimstone is starting to come into the meta more and more because of his insanely long lasting smokes and the nerf that we've seen recently to omen. Which means we're seeing people experiment more and more with his utility and the new and improved stim beacon makes the five man frenzy rush almost unstoppable. Now picture this, a five man team jumping out of a hookah smoke or running up sea long on haven with frenzies in their hands and they're stimmed out of their mind. It's an absolute nightmare fuel because those 13 frenzy shots that one person is able to empty out in less than a second is an insane amount of damage to have to go against. And you contesting that five man frenzy rush is essentially instant death. It pretty much forces you to play retake on pistol round if the enemy opts for the strat, but let's be honest, no one plays for retake on pistol round, and the team that is rushing with these frenzies is pretty much always going to be picking up or trading out at least one. And then we have agents like Phoenix, where the frenzy doesn't change a ton about their pistol round kit, but it does provide the perfect option where the light armor classic seemed like a decent option because you were able to get both flashes, but you didn't really have that kill pressure, which means we still saw a ton of Phoenix going for a ghost and opting for just one flash instead, just so they could manage that extra kill pressure with their duelist potential. But now people are actually realizing the power of the frenzy and Phoenixes are way more often getting those double flashes because the kill pressure of the frenzy is just better than the kill pressure of the ghost. And not to mention, usually when you flash toward an enemy on pistol round, they're backing up to the nearest angle. And that extra flash that you have now is crucial for getting that second flash off whenever they're cornered, which is usually where you're going to be picking up the kill. And not to mention the double flashes that gives Phoenix the perfect opportunity to work his way up into the face of his opponents so he can start pumping out that frenzy damage. And this kit honestly just works extremely well for every agent that would have opted for light armor on round 1, like Killjoy, Cypher, and Sage. And even Arena, opting for double flashes in Frenzy, or even Frenzy, one flash and three heals on a pistol round, Arena with 150 HP overhealed and a Frenzy running at your face is nearly unbeatable because the HP is too much to just burn through especially if the Reyna is pumping out frenzy damage while you're trying to kill them. And finally, the frenzy meta is really just reshaping the way we're playing maps on pistol round altogether, like Split. Split is arguably the closest range map that we have in the game. And with the map changes that we saw recently, it starts to favor team rushes onto the B bomb site and team rushes into A heaven because everything is a little bit wider. And the frenzy loves that because where normally every team would just run A every pistol round because going through B main was instant death, B main now has enough room for you to not get funneled into death. 
and enough room to allow your entry fragger and second man to walk out of the entrance essentially together. And with a smoke on B Heaven, B Sight becomes way easier to take because of all of the angles that you can be peeked from are also perfect frenzy kill distance. This frenzy meta also makes holding B Heaven much easier for defenders because those extremely tight corners and corridors are prime frenzy distance. And with how low the time to kill is, you can pump out enough damage and still manage to get back to safety because of the tight corners that you can be playing. But honestly, the only thing that's more difficult about this frenzy meta on split is managing to keep mid control. But honestly, you don't need full mid control. You can back up and dare the enemies to push up. It's much easier to give up mid control and dare the enemies to push up into B Heaven or into ropes because the frenzies waiting on the other side are very tough to deal with if you're not able to spam flashes all the way through. And then we have Bind. Now I found that Bind was the most difficult pistol round map in the entire game, especially for the attacker side. This is because on the A bomb side it feels like you don't pump out enough damage to be able to get the early kills without dying to the harsh crossfires the enemies can hold. And on B bomb side it seems like Hookah is impossible to jump out of because of the Cypher and Killjoy that always plays there, but the Frenzy actually allows you to take the B bomb site very easily if you manage to push up B long without too much of a problem. From this entrance you're keeping all of the angles in front of you, and the only crossfire to worry about is the one from elbow as you're entering site. And not to mention, after you take the bomb site, holding down the CT entrance of the site with the Frenzy is an extremely powerful tactic to hold for post plant, which is because it's the most powerful position the enemies are going to retake from, and you can absolutely crossfire it with the Frenzy and stop anyone from trying to rush out of it. And the damage output of the Frenzy makes that short A push that we were talking about much more effective. Now, if you're using your Brimstone or Omen Smokes to deal with the longer angles of Heaven and Back Sight by Triple Boxes, the Frenzy is much more effective at clearing out that close right cubby that people love to play and taking and maintaining control of Hookah. But all in all, this Frenzy meta is really just making up for all of the weaknesses we've seen in the Pistol Round meta, and it forces us to put a bit more thought into how we're playing these Pistol Rounds. But remember, if you want to improve, win more gunfights, and get the rank you've always wanted, then check out skillcapped.com. Link is in the description below. But what do you think about the frenzy coming into the meta? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notification bells on, because we here at Skillcapped have a ton more comprehensive premium guides coming your way that you're going to want to stay up to date with so you can stay ahead of the pack. And as always, I want to thank you for spending this little bit of your day with us. And I'm Notorious Dub, signing off.